Thanks for joining us on the John Madola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Center. So let's talk with Ryan Runko from Runko Elite Quarterback Academy. I had the pleasure of checking out Ryan uh, and got to see some of the athletes he's working with. Uh, Ryan, great to chat with you. Great to see you. And, uh, boy, uh, you're really doing a heck of a job, and uh, it seems like you're really having a good time with these student-athletes. Yeah, well, first off, you know, thank you so much for the compliment. Uh, I really appreciate it, and, and we love having you up there uh, for, for a workout and, and seeing the young guys going at it. Um, yeah, I'm having a blast. Um, you know, anytime you get to, to train some of the best quarterbacks slash athletes in the state, you know, it's a real honor. It's a real privilege. Um, you know, I, myself playing the quarterback position my whole life, uh, it, it was nice that, you know, it's nice that I'm able to give back, you know, to the kids and to the community and, and, and to, you know, the teams and uh, help the kids get, get on track to hopefully have a big season and, and you know, help them get recruited and uh, get some college looks. And uh, it looks like the, the guys are liking the, the constructive criticism, and, and that's what it's all about, to, to make a kid better, uh, and whether you know it's your own son or daughter at home or, or possibly a coach that reaches out to them or a teacher. Uh, we're just trying to get uh, these young men and young women to try to get a little closer to that potential. Uh, tell us about some tactics that you use, because uh, I see a lot of positivity uh, in your actions. Yeah, I think, you know, first and foremost, I think just being a good communicator, uh, like you said, whether it's your son, daughter, um, you know, whether you're a coach, teacher, just to be able to communicate with the kids and get through to them uh, on a positive uh, manner, I, I think it's huge for them. It builds up their self-esteem, um, you know, it just, you know, it enables them to be more confident in what they do, and it really shows out on the field. Um, that's the one thing, you know, we really do up there. It's not, you know, a, a drill sergeant, uh, you know, type academy. It's It's more... Hey, you know, we have our fun. We joke around. But when it's, you know, when it's time for your rep, you know, I want you locked in and I want you getting serious and think about what you have to do. Um, you know, we work nothing but good habits up there, uh, no bad habits, kind of teach them the right way to do things. And, and the biggest thing is staying positive with them. You know, the quarterback position is one of those positions where you have to be mentally strong to play it. Uh, you know, you can't be all over the map. You can't, uh, you know, have more downs uh, than ups. And uh, you got to be able to bounce back when, you know, adversity is in your face, uh, whether, you know, throwing two, three picks in the first half, hey, you might have that uh, ball in your hand with the game on the line, uh, you know, going down for that game-winning touchdown, and you got to be able to lead your team, you know, in a positive manner. So, yeah, the big thing we, we try to do is, you know, not only teach them, you know, ins and outs of the quarterback position, whether it's mechanics, uh, you know, throwing mechanics, fundamentals, release points, base balance, you know, finishing the pocket, but we also try to, you know, turn them into, into great young men and great leaders, and, uh, you know, give them some lessons that they could take not only with them on the field, but off the field as well and, you know, off into their, their future endeavors, you know, whatever they may do. And you could say probably uh, some great things about uh, a handful of guys I'm going to mention to you, but you guys got, got guys like Mike Force uh, with you and, and uh, of course, uh, Jake Ryan and Jacob Watts and, uh, you know, Scotty Walk. I mean, uh, man, they're coming for some, from uh, some, some good backgrounds and uh, – just great kids, and you're rooting for them on the inside and the outside with those guys. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, there, there's no slouches up at Runco Elite. That's the thing. Uh, you know, it's it's some of the best of the best, some of the top quarterbacks, in, in not only in the league but in the state. Um, you know, Jacob Watts, who you mentioned, is is a big time Division One recruit. He's you know big kid, six foot three, two hundred thirty eight pounds. Um, you know, kind of a little bit raw still, but he had a whole off season to learn the quarterback position, and I expect a monster year from him. Uh, Scotty Walk is a kid who's going to go over 5,000 yards in his career, which is rare at the high school level. Um, rarely throws a bad ball. He's, you know, deadly accurate with everything. Mike Ford, same thing. Um, he's the type of kid, if, if you were going to make an instructional video on how to throw the football as far as mechanics and, and follow through a release goal and show that to a young quarterback, he'd be the guy you would take. Uh, he's just fundamentally sound and smooth at everything. Um, you know, Jake Ryan, athletic kid. He's one of those kids who, you know, he could, he could play shortstop and bat three on your baseball team. He could dunk a basketball. He's just an all around, you know, great athlete, big kid, surprisingly big, you know, when you get up on top of him. And, uh, you know, it, it just, just all the way down the line. Uh, another kid you didn't see, uh, who wasn't there, uh, who couldn't make it that Sunday was a kid, Donnie Blaine up in North Pocono, who is, you know, he's my diaper dandy, I say. He was only a freshman last year who had an outstanding year and, and he has such a great demeanor about it. He doesn't really get rattled, and that's exactly how you want to be when you play the quarterback position. you got to be mentally strong. And, and I think when it's all said and done, I think Donnie could be one of the great ones, and I think he could be a big-time college recruit. So, uh, yeah, like you know, like you said, 
you know, those guys there, Nick Emmett from, from Abington Heights, Dylan Delavalli from Pocono Mountain West, Kyle Donovan from Susquehanna, Brandon Chase from, from down at Hanover here, uh, Hanover area. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's, it's, it's pretty exciting to watch these guys go to work and, and see the transformation that they have throughout the off season. And, uh, and I can't wait to see how it translates onto the field. It's, there's some, some, some absolute studs up there. Ryan, let's go through your your background of uh, of some coaches that have influenced you, and now uh, you're kind of trying to do the same thing, uh, of being that influence for these young men. Uh, yeah, I was very fortunate throughout my you know entire career. Um, when I was on the youth level playing off the lines football, uh, my cousin Sean Grisman was a standout quarterback at Mid Valley High School, and and actually you know took them to an undefeated season, uh, one you know the only one in Mid Valley you know high school history, and. And he played the quarterback position. It kind of taught me when I was young, you know, the, you know, the proper way to take a drop and, and throw a football. And then throughout my career, I had uh, Coach George Petrucci, uh throughout my high school career and a little bit in college who played at the University of Delaware. He was a standout himself and who taught me uh, pretty much everything there is to know uh, about the quarterback position, you know, on that higher level. And then when I went on to Lackawanna College, I had Coach Mark Cordelli, uh, who played at the University of Arkansas, who was also a big part of my life and, and helped me develop and Helped me become, uh, you know, a young man. Uh, both him and Coach Petrucci kind of matured me and, and, and showed me the in, the in and outs and, and how to read a defense and, and how to, you know, cornerback technique and cover two, cover three man. And, and it's, it was, like I said, I was very fortunate to have those coaches in place and my cousin also. And it's nice that I get to translate the things that I learned um, through my coaches and work in different camps and clinics. Uh, it's nice to translate that to the kids in our area and, and kind of teach them the right way to do things and just a little, you know, little fundamentals that went into it that I learned uh, from the coaches that I had. And Ryan, you're, you're able to put on a, a, a clinic uh, recent times. So talk a little bit about getting guys together and having a camp for, for people and, and getting some big time names there too. Yeah, we had a, we had a clinic over at Valley View High School, uh, uh, over on the turf, beautiful complex over there. And I was able to get uh, former NFL quarterback, Jay Feeler, who played with the uh, Miami Dolphins with the New York Jets. We got Donald Jones, who was a standout actually at Lackawanna College, who got drafted by the Buffalo Bills. I had Rocco for Jones, who was a Valley View standout, two-time All-American at Bloomsbury University, trial with the New York Jets. We had Ryan Castellani over there, who was a Valley View standout as well, All-American at Wagner University. Um, out in New York, so it was it was a star-studded cast uh, of staff members, and uh, it was nice. We had a very very uh, good turnout for our second year. Um, it was nice to see the kids kind of get together and uh, you know kind of bond a little bit and, and and bump chest and slap each other five and 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 have fun with the uh, you know fun with with everything that we threw at them. Uh, they, you know they ended up learning a lot for that day. They they took some good stuff home with them that they could take with them to camp and, and to double sessions. And uh, you know it, it was just a, a great day. Uh, it, it was, you know, nothing but positive vibes and, and just all around just good fundamental techniques that these guys learned and uh, something that we plan on doing for years to come. Uh, I want to do this, continue to grow this uh, for our area because I was telling Jay, uh, you know, we're kind of football starved around here a little bit. It's a lot of AAU basketball and, and travel baseball, and, and as far as football goes, you don't really see that much. So it's definitely something that I want to I want to grow and you know, kind of build on staff and incorporate, you know, linemen, linebackers, tight end, and kind of hit the whole pot as far as uh, football players go and just build something for our area and, and, and keep growing it. Well, Ryan Runco doing a heck of a job. Uh, great to check you out the other day and, and uh, keep up the good work. And uh, I know you'll be at some high school football games every Friday night this uh, this weekend in the fall. Yeah, looking forward to it. And uh, whenever you want to stop by again, buddy, you're always welcome. You know that. So uh, thanks for having me, and uh, thank you the other day for coming up. Uh, the kids loved it, and I loved it as well. All right, Ryan Runco from Runco Elite Quarterback Academy here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.